I really need to start documenting my stuff. All right, so I got the Suki Iger Quad Runner. Bought this months ago. The bike I got with it, I fixed quick, got rid of. I just wanted to make that a quick flip. This is something I'm still debating on whether or not I want to fix it, sell it, or if I want to take it apart, break everything down so I could use it as like a little cart, you know, four wheel drive cart, which would be easy to do because I mean, I could just like make some thingies to go over there and then swinging and all that stuff. But yeah, and I could sit right here, have the cart on like, dang, y'all can't see what I'm doing. Like, I sit right here, top of the wheels, plenty of room. Full drive. Hmm. Can't shorten that up. But what I can do is put the motor on, just have an extended front. Like just have an extended front, which would be I think a pretty pretty dope. I don't know. No. You know what? I'm just fix this, get this running, get this to a home because it's not in bad condition. Like I can see if the plastics were all jacked up, but they're actually pretty good. Doing a little cleaning and paint won't hurt. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just clean it, paint it, and I'm get it running. Probably why it backfired because look at this. We welded that back together horribly at that. So I had a little backfire, scared the shit out of me and my girl. She came out thinking that I got shot. We're in the suburbs, so you know how that reaction is like, oh my god, what do we do? I don't know. It's been so long. But yeah, take this apart. Damn, I wish it was daytime. I really want to spread this down. Throw the new carburetor on it. Check the oil. Check the fluid levels. And this thing back running. I mean, it starts over. I don't have the battery hooked up, but it turns over. So that's a plus. That's rusty, so that's probably no good. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, hey, these brakes, clutch, whatever this thing's too. I think that's that. I think this is this. This does this. Nope, that's that. So, but that it's not attached to that. So I honestly don't know what that is too. So I need to take this front off also then. And just really do it over, get it running, get it back together. Be easier to paint anyway. But yeah, but this is the Suzuki Iger Quad Racer Runner, whatever you want to call it. I call it four wheelies, cause that's why I'm basically guys. So me and my wife can do wheelies all over the place. So yeah, I'm gonna take that off and paint that. Clean all this stuff up. Make it pretty. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so here's where I'm at. Woo! I just had one problem and it was with the freaking, I don't know, this thing. It's like the, thing for your charger. I guess so you can charge up your uh, phone, your GPS, whatever. But yeah, that's the only problem I had. And the thing about it is, it was the wrong piece that I was trying to take off. I was trying to take off this whole back piece. It was just this little piece right here that should have been taken off. And I broke it. I see a little crack. So, I mean, it's rusted anyway. I was gonna order another one, so it doesn't matter. But, glad I didn't have to cut the wires. So, all right, so, um, I just need to take off this last piece right here. Which, this is being stubborn. I don't know why this won't come off. But, it will eventually. Once that's it, um, I'm going to go ahead and service it. Put the carburetor back on. Hook up the battery. I think I'm going to undo the exhaust. Because I don't want that thing to backfire. I don't trust it now that I see how it's put together. I'm going to have to order a new exhaust, obviously. Oh, man. Didn't want to 
But that's what it is. Maybe I can find one on Marketplace. And then I'm just take the spray, black spray can and go to town. Found out I need to order another one of these cables. I need to order that. This is actually the rear brake, which is dope. But as you can see, it's not connected. That's love. Like somewhere between here and here, it's not working. So I don't know what's going on, but like the cable works. Oh man. Looks like the drum is stuck. Alright. Well, I know I need to get a new. See, it's stuck forward. Looks like I need to get a new something. Something needs to be lubricated. But that's perfect. That's not bad. I'm going to replace the cables anyway. But, I mean, it's not a lot. Cables, these, that's basic stuff. Like, so far, I'm looking at less than a hundred bucks and fixing it, minus the um, harbor, because that was a hundred bucks myself. So right now, I'm looking at two hundred dollars, depending on how much the cables cost. Um, y'all probably be like, yeah, right, whatever, buddy, because y'all know actually how much it costs. But I'm just doing a rough estimate. I'm going with the cheap stuff, so. Mm. All right, well, by that can't be fixed. I need some front brakes. I mean, I got a spare one somewhere. Look at my junk drawer and see if this one matches. Doubt it will. Yeah, that's the one I have. But this is to the wrong side, so that's that. I don't think I have any other ones. Oh. Got one up here. But I think it's frozen too. Something about that right side. Yeah, that's... Oh, this one's frozen. So maybe this one's good. Oh, wait a minute. We might have one. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is wrong side. Shit, this is wrong side. So, yeah, it's frozen. And that's all I have, so. I'm going online and. But tomorrow I'm going to spray this thing down thoroughly. Got to plug up some holes so water don't get in the motor. Um, make sure all the wires are connected and everything. I mean, it turned over, so everything should be good. I'm going to spray it down the once over make it pretty put some black on it black so everything looks better and um man, this thing is filthy look at this stuff man i mean i sprayed it down earlier but man trust me you don't understand this thing looks bigger without the the fairings and stuff on. It's crazy with plastics. So research how to take this thing off if there's a little trick to it. Um, I'm saying this down definitely paint that all black because I'm I own it, that's why. And let's see what kind of filter. I think I saw a filter just like that. And, um, Home Depot today, so and this, I gotta figure out what's up with this because these are connected and that doesn't look too like it's supposed to be because they shouldn't be connected. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I'm gonna spend some positive time when I actually took some time off and I'm gonna cash in on that. But, y'all have a fun night and I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, so I got this thing all cleaned up now. I'm letting it dry in here before I start putting. Man, I think this thing was fucking filthy. 
I'm just tell you, this thing is filthy. It's still a little is, but hey, it's fucking four wheeler. But let me turn this fan on. Looks like the tires are somewhat holding the air. Eventually, I know I'm gonna have to change them. I'm gonna service the um, whatever these things are called. You put some gear lube in there. Got some. Hopefully, hopefully it's enough. Now I'll just go buy some. Do that. Change the oil. That way, all that will be fresh. Throw the carburetor on. Throw the battery to it, and see what happens. I need to check to see if it has sparks. To be honest with you. But that's what's about to happen right now. Everything all apart. Red painting everything black. I'm just gonna look black with this one. As you see, it's all over the place. Taped up a few things that looks like it needs to stay, like the name and the type of four by four it is, but that's what I'm doing now.